On this Debaco University video, we're going to be looking at hand watering for cannabis production. So while this might be a little bit of a labor intensive task, going over some of the specifics here for hand watering in this presentation. So first off, the advantage is it can be plant specific. Uh, hand watering allows for individual plants to get watered individually. This also requires someone to visit each plant each day, which can be important for scouting for disease or insects. Instead of just kind of turning on the irrigation system and having the whole row watered at once, going into each individual plant could be great for monitoring purposes and help ensure every plant gets the water that they need. Uh, there's also the importance with hand watering of nozzle selection. Depending on the stage of plant development, growers may want to change the nozzle they used when they water. Uh, there are many options, they're not just one option. Uh, as many growers think, oh, just a nozzle at the end of a hose. Well, there's a lot of options. Early on, keep in mind that plants are fragile. So an even watering nozzle held so the, the water points up and gently falls down is advised. Later in the season, volume may be more important to deliver. So more water uh, to water more plants in a shorter period of time. So this is why you may want to make these different changes. I would advise in generally against the high pressure nozzles as we see here, uh, cleaning used more for cleaning and pressure washing. You kind of want that nice kind of simulation of that nice gentle rain flow there. If you don't use a nozzle, it can kind of create a lot of soil splash uh, or can splash just in general, which might not be advantageous for your growing area. Lastly, uh, consistency. The goal is to ensure consistent water delivered to the plants from day to day and also over the entire growing season. The plant's requirements will change, so the grower needs to make the necessary adjustments when needed to avoid plant stress. Just because they need X amount of seconds uh, per water when they're first starting out, you want to make sure you're adjusting to those plant needs as those plants grow and change over their growth cycle to ensure you're delivering uh, consistency to match the plant demand and and not shorting the plants or overwatering the plants to ensure that nice even uh, growth and to not overly stress them or potentially cause an increased chance for diseases at the root level. 